Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel here. In the next few short minutes, I'd like to invite you and I to think of this one question, and that is whether the things that we're trusting on today in our lives, are those things actually reliable? Now, the reason that I ask that question is because um, just yesterday, I was just you know going through the news again, and, and I see one, this one article talking about um, that city, Futaba in Japan. Okay, there are actually, you know, uh, there are a couple of journalists who went into the city and, uh, and he goes around filming everything. You can go online, you can see this. I think it's on CNN. And um, basically, it's become a quote-unquote ghost town. Nobody's there anymore. Everybody have left. And these two journalists are going back. They're risking their, their lives to see what's still going on. And what's the, one of the most ironic thing is that when they came to this place, which is right in front of the nuclear power plant, when everything was still okay, there was no earthquake, no tsunami, when everything was still quote unquote fine, there was a huge sign outside of that nuclear power plant. And probably it was one of the tourist um, locations. I don't know what it was, but the, the sign says, nuclear energy, our hometown's future. And even when these two journalists, when they're filming this and they're just, you know, just looking at this and they found it ironic, you see, because when everything was okay, people were looking towards these things, you know, oh, you know, this is going to be our future, you know, and I'm just thinking, could these, could this be the case for you and I today that there are things in our lives that we're trusting on, whether it is, you know, our money in our bank, whether it is, you know, our, our children, our parents, our work you know, our, our house, our car, whatever it is. I really want us to think about this question. Is what we're trusting in today actually reliable? Because you see, at a moment of time, in a moment of time, so short, so quick, all this stuff in Japan was wiped away. And I'm telling you, this is not only to people who are around the world that, you know, sometimes it feels like you watch it on the news and it's kind of like a distant thing for us. But when you really think about it, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I want to tell you that there's a good news today because while there are many things in this life that honestly are not reliable, what seems to be reliable right now, whether it's um, the money in the bank, whether it's our education, whether it's our career, whatever it is, whatever seems to be reliable right now could be swept away in a moment of time. And the only thing that is reliable in this life Okay, I want to tell you that good news. The only thing, only person who is ever going to never fail you in this life, his name is Jesus Christ. The God and the creator of this universe who created you and me, who loves you and me. You see, from the foundations of time, you have seen the whole big picture of how things are going to plan out. And the Bible tells us that from the foundations of the world, the Father God has loved us. And that's why He sent His Son, Jesus, to come to die for us. And the Bible tells us that God is a God of faithfulness. His words will not return to Him void. And if we place our trust in Him, the Bible says that he who trusts in the Lord shall not be put to shame. You see, in this life, especially in this end time hour, the only focus, the only trust that we can put in is not in our jobs or our career or you know, our money or our, our relationships social, you know, uh, status, whatever it is, it's n in none of those things, you know, because especially at this hour, I really want to encourage you and I to come before God and really renew our mind and to think about and to examine our lives and see is what I'm putting my trust on today. Is that thing reliable? And am I putting my trust in God or am I putting my trust in the world, in the things of this life, which could very well be passed away in one hour. Even the book of Revelation says that even at the end times, the economy could crash in one hour. Everything has become desolate. The gold and the silver, people are going to cast it out in the streets. You see, people today, they want to buy up all the gold and all the silver. But I'm telling you, there's a time when people are going to throw it out on the streets. They don't even want it because it's going to be no value. So what, I'm, so what I want to ask you and myself at this moment is that, are we really ready to meet God? Because that is a question. You see, the people back then in, in Japan, you know, that whole sign that says it's their hope. It's their hometown's future. It's their hope. Nuclear energy. But right now, guess what? The ironic thing is that it's become their sting. It's become a stigma. It's become something that is working against them. You know, they're trying to uh, contain the whole situation, but it cannot be contained. And all these radioactive stuff is being poured in the water and all this stuff is happening. What seemed to be a reliable and, and hopeful future 
you know, that nuclear energy, nuclear power plant at that moment has now become desolation, has become something that people have casted away. It's become that is actually the opposite of hope, the opposite of a future. But you know what, guys? I want to tell you something, that there is hope. And this hope is in the Son of God, whose name is Jesus Christ. He has come to this world to save you and I. And he says he doesn't want any of us to put our trust and our hope in ourselves, not in ourselves, not in our fame, not in our recognition, not in our money, not in our relationships, not none of that stuff. But if we put our trust in Jesus, if we walk with Him daily, if we seek the Holy Spirit to have true communion with the Father God, every day we ask to seek after, we, we remain in His love, that is what is going to take us into eternity, into the eternal blessed hope. And this is the time where you and I, we need to look up because as you see all the signs that are happening around the world, we know emphatically that Jesus is coming back soon. So I just really want to encourage you as you continue to wait for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ that you, you will not be discouraged. Look steadfast towards that goal. Do not let anyone or anything in this life stop you from pursuing after Jesus. You just need to remain in Him. And the way to remain in Him is to continue in your faith, in genuine faith. And if you do that, Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. Okay? And we do that because we love God. Not out of legalism, but we, out, we do it because we know that if we bear good fruits and we walk on this path of holiness and righteousness and we don't, we don't chase out the things of this world, we don't trust in the things of this world, but we trust in God. And that's what matters. So I just want to pray for you in Jesus' name that you will focus your eyes, set your mind on things above and not on things of the earth because your citizenship is in heaven if you have truly repented and if you're truly trusting in Jesus. So may you be renewed today with that mind. You and I, that... Every day of our lives will be lived for eternity. Not to trust on the things here, but to trust in God Himself. Because God, Jesus Christ, He is the one who will never, ever forsake us. He will never let us down if we continue to walk in Him. So God bless you, knowing that, that Jesus will never fail you, no matter what happens in the world. Be blessed knowing that. God bless you.